Here, we're asked to balance the combustion reaction shown below in which C11H24, a hydrocarbon, and molecular oxygen react to yield carbon dioxide and water, which are products typical of combustion reactions. Now, in the hydrocarbon, there are 11 carbon atoms, which can be accounted for by including a coefficient of 11 in front of the carbon dioxide. There are, on the hydrocarbon, 24 hydrogen atoms, which we can account for by including a coefficient of 12 in front of water. Now, carbon and hydrogen have been balanced, but clearly oxygen has not been balanced yet since there are 22 oxygen atoms from carbon dioxide and 12 from water, but there are not the same number of oxygen atoms here on the reactant side. So let's sum these, and we see that on the product side, there are 34 oxygen atoms, which we can account for on the reactant side by including here a coefficient of 17 in front of molecular oxygen because 17 times 2 gives 34 oxygen atoms and now this reaction is in fact balanced.